Hi everybody, it's Debbie. I'm back with another video. I know it's been a long time since I've recorded anything. Um, things have just been really busy lately, but I'm hoping to get back into the groove of things. Today's video is going to be about the Atlas Stationer sidewalk sale. I went there a couple weeks ago to Chicago to visit my daughter, and while I was there, I went to the sidewalk sale that they were having on August 17th and 18th. I went on Thursday on the 17th. They had a lot of vendors there. Um, let's see, Esterbrook was there, Narwhal was there, Luxury Pens of America, Faber-Castell, Corcrea Crafts, who else? Heinz Pens, uh, just lots of great vendors um, to see and to talk to. And then of course, you had access to the whole Atlas Stationer store. So the first thing that I did while I was there was I took my um, my Esterbrook SD pen to um, the Esterbrook booth because I was having problems with this section of the pen wasn't tightening after I removed it. Um, and I talked to Carrie and he was like, oh, that's an easy fix. And so he swapped out this section with a new section. So you can see now that it'll tighten nicely and um, I actually like this new section better than what I had before. It's more colorful. Uh, so I thought that was great and uh, there was no charge for it or anything like that. He was very um, sweet about the whole thing and it took one minute. Um, so that was great. So I got that done. Um, then I went to um, Narwhal and I talked to Daniel Yang about my Narwhal Tromso pen, which I don't have here, and you'll understand why in a second, but um, I had ordered it from Atlas Stationers, and if you've seen the pen on the website, it's got a lot of green and purple and other variations of colors. Well, the one I got was almost completely white, and when I checked with Atlas about it, they had um, another one in a medium nib, which is what I had ordered. Uh, but it was uh, very green, had a lot of green in it, and I was hoping to get one with more purple in it. So I talked to um, Daniel Yang about it, and he said, oh, just send us an email, and we'll send you a shipping label, and we'll swap out pens for you. So I just did that this week, sent that back. Uh, in the meantime, they had sent me three uh, images of the pens that they had in stock, that I could swap out with and let me select which one I wanted to uh, swap with. So I thought that was great, great customer service from them, nice people and everything. So I uh, got that all taken care of and I should be getting that replacement pen anytime soon. So like I might have mentioned, uh, they, they had a couple classes. Uh, the first one that I took was a Fountain Pen 101 class with um, Bryce of Luxury Brands of America. Uh, he did a great job. He kind of just did an overview of fountain pens, um, you know, what they're about, with their history of them, inks, paper, all that kind of stuff. But the amazing thing was this was a free class that Atlas offered, and there was a ton of freebies that Bryce gave us all. So I kind of wanted to go over and show you all the uh, freebies that they gave us. So the first thing was this Nebula Casual Notebook uh, that they uh, they had waiting for us. It's 90 GSM paper, so it's nice and thin, fairly thin. Um, dot grid, as you can see, and um, it's made for for uh, fountain pens. It says that the ink will not feather or bleed, um, and it's 120 pages. So uh, I haven't tried this out yet, but um, I'm really excited to try it because I'm used to Tomoe River paper and as I'm always looking for a new notebook to use or something. So I thought that was a great, uh, nice little gift that they gave us. So in addition to that, they gave us this endless creative block. And this is a tear off notepad and it's regalia paper, um, 80 GSM, blank pages except they do have this little endless logo on the one side of it so um, let's see does it tell me how many pages are on here no it doesn't but it looks like there's maybe I don't know 50 100 something like that I can't count uh, but so that was really cool that they gave us this I had heard about this paper before and I had wanted to try it out so now I have an opportunity to do that so I thought that was really cool um, the next thing that we got was this ink miser. 
um, which is something that you use if your ink bottle gets low and you're having a hard time filling your fountain pen. So it's a, um, a little funnel-like um, contraption with also has an eyedropper type thing. And you just put your ink in here and then you can take your fountain pen and uh, dip it in there and then fill your pen. And it helps to avoid having to try to tilt your bottle of ink or something like that to fill it. So um, that's a really handy little gadget to have. So I thought that was really neat. The next thing that we got, there's more. The next thing we got was this Girologio pen sleeve. Um, all of them were in the brown leather. It's kind of a suede type leather and it holds one pen. Uh, has this just cardboard um, stiffener in it. And uh, it's just a really nice uh, pen sleeve for when you're on the go and you're just taking one pen with you. Uh, really like that. And um, let's see, let's put a fountain pen in it. Slides in there nicely, it's well protected. And uh, yeah, so that's what they gave us. And there is still more. We got this bottle of Colorverse Green Ink, uh, and I did swatch it. The ink is a little bright for my um, taste, but um, you never know when you might need a, a nice grassy green ink. So I just thought that, ink, you know, it's a full size bottle, it's 30 mil. Um, so I thought that was a really nice thing to give us. Um, you know, they're pretty much giving us everything to, to get set up with using fountain pens which uh, would make you wonder, where's the pen? So they gave us a Platinum Prefonte pen. Now these are very inexpensive pens. Um, I think I looked on Atlas's website and I think they're 11 something. So not an expensive pen, but still it cost them money to give this to us. They came with a cartridge. Um, oh, it snaps off. Uh, so we, uh, we went ahead and we put the cartridge on and it was blue ink. I, I think I've run this one dry. Let's uh, let's give it a try. But this is a medium nib. Oh no, it's still got ink in there. And I'll tell you, I really like this pen. You know, I've been buying some more expensive pens lately, and um, you know, for being an $11 pen, I really like it. And I uh, wrote with it for a couple days after the pen, um, the sidewalk sale and just really had a great time writing with it. I do like platinum pens. I like the medium nib. Um, this is my daily writer, the Platinum Procyon, but uh, I, I'm thinking about ordering more of these. So that's what they gave us. That's pretty much, um, oh, they gave us a converter for it as well. I forgot about that. They gave us the converter so we don't have to use cartridges all the time. So that's pretty much everything that they gave us which I just thought was great. You know, they didn't have to give us anything for um, a free class and I would have been happy just having the knowledge, but they gave us a whole set of, you know, everything that you needed to get started using fountain pens. So I really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, uh, applaud Bryce and Luxury Brands of America for, for doing that for everybody. The next class I took was uh, with Ferris Wheel Press and you all are probably very familiar with them. Uh, they had a very interesting presentation. They went through the company history and uh, basically how they come up with the stories for their ink line, um, their product line. So every, uh, let me get grab a bottle of Ferris Wheel Press ink that I happen to have. Every bottle of ink has a story behind it, an inspiration behind it. So basically what they do is they get in a room together and they discuss, um, say, summer. What what are your memories of summer? And uh, it might be like an ice cream vendor that came around your neighborhood. It might have been swimming at the ocean or something like that. And from there, they kind of kick off a story uh, on one color. It was ice cream related and they picked um, like a, a coral or an orange sherbet color type uh, that they made for the ink and they picked a name that went with it and they just expanded on that person's memory of the summer and what it meant to them. So I thought that was really cool. They also had, um, after they got done 
talking to us. They had quiz time and they asked us questions about all the uh, details that they had given us. Unfortunately, I came in second place, so I didn't win anything, but the winner uh, did get a $200 Ferris wheel press prize pack, which uh, I really wanted, but obviously I didn't pay well, good enough attention. What they did give everyone, though, <clears throat> was this ink charger set, and I don't know if you've ever seen these, but um, these are basically sample sets of three colors of their popular inks. So this is three steamboats, definitely peachy, and double raspberry. And they come in these, uh, let's see if it tells me the size. I don't see the size on here, but it, they call them chargers. <clears throat> I apologize, I'm losing my voice for some reason. But here's what they are, just little baby sample bottles of these inks. So um, that was very generous of them, and I appreciate that. I love Ferris wheel press inks. <clears throat> so then I went and I shopped. Um, there were other freebies that I got. Uh, one thing that I got from talking to Carrie at Estabrook, he gave me the JFK puzzle that they've been that they've had. Uh, I don't have it because I gave it to my daughter. She loves to do puzzles, but it was a very generous gift. And then at Luxury Brands of America, Bryce gave me the newest um, ink color from Platinum. It's called Chukuro, and it is the blackest ink known out there. Um, and so I was a little hesitant because I use the uh, Platinum Carbon Ink. Um, very happy with it. So uh, I swatched out the Chu Kuro, and you can see it's really dark there. But I went and I got my Platinum Carbon Ink and swatched it out. And look at the difference there. I thought this was a pretty black ink, but when you look at the Chu Kuro, it's amazing the difference there. So that's a very, very dark ink. I would encourage you if you're looking for a black ink and it is permanent so those of you that worry about um, archivalness and being able to keep your writing for years to come uh, this is a great ink to get so uh, I was really happy with that and once I use up this bottle this is a 20 mil uh, bottle it's just a sample size um, but you can buy the, the larger uh, bottles from Atlas stationers then I uh, made some purchases uh, actually went through a couple different lines uh, the vendors and also through Atlas Stationers. From Estabrook, I bought this ink blotting paper, which I thought was really pretty. I thought this was just a cover page for the ink blotting paper, but when I talked to Carrie, he told me, no, that's the actual blotting paper. So I thought that was really cool. So it comes with, I believe, five sheets, and each one is a different seam. I haven't used it yet. Let's put this well that's not all going to show up but anyways you can see the three designs and then there's two sheets of the smaller one so if you have one of those um, I forget what they're called but it's a little rocker arm that you put blotting paper on you can just cut these off and um, use that on the little rocker arm so that was really fun getting that um, so I bought that I also bought a brush lettering paper pack because um, I'm teaching a journaling class at one of my local stores and as part of that class I give them a brush pen and uh, teach them brush lettering so I thought this would be great to give them some of this paper to practice their brush lettering on. Then I bought um, some different inks first one I bought was this Atlantic Blue from Narwhal um, and I did swatch it. Let me pull out that swatch, pull out the bottle of ink. There, there's the ink. And here is the swatch that goes with it. It's a very, very pretty teal color, but kind of a deep teal. A little bit uh, greener than what's on the uh, label, but a very pretty color. And um, I wish you can see a sample of that writing right there. The next one that I bought was um, Platinum Lavender Black. I like the, uh, the combination of black with another um, ink color, and so I have the sepia black, and so I wanted to try the lavender black. Um, I didn't try this wet, 
um, you know, putting water on it to see what it does yet. But I was surprised that it was more lavender than black, which um, I guess I need to read up on the color and see what the properties of it are. But it's a very, very pretty color. I do like that. And then lastly, the last color that, of ink that I got was this um, Jingleberry from the Diamine Ink Minute calendar. I think this is 2022's calendar. It doesn't really say on here, but I think, uh, I'm pretty sure this was 2022 and there's the color that's a really pretty pinky purple so I really like that and it does have some um, oh no it doesn't have shimmer in it which I'm not a big fan of shimmer so that's perfect for me um, next I went to Cora Crea Crafts oh she's got some amazing amazing stuff and I bought this um, journaling box or um, curi they call it a curiosities box and the theme is ocean and beach so you open it up and it tells you everything that's in there and it's packaged beautifully in this nice um, this nice box and this, so we get um, let me pull this aside and I'll, I'll pull out everything that's in here it's just beautifully packaged I love I love her stuff I've, I've bought quite a few things from her. So there's this Ocean Waves Foil Transparent Washi Tape. And that's a that's a nice size of washi tape, so that's really pretty. Uh, seashells Washi Tape. This is also a very pretty washi tape that um, it's got like some foiling on it. Uh, Beach Escape Mini Sticker Pad. Let's open this up and see what this has in it. Let's see if I can get it. Maybe I can get it. Oh, I see. I was trying the wrong end. So this has got, oh, really cute stickers. Beachy themed stickers. Very cute. And these are on obviously on sticker paper. Let's see if you need to cut. Yeah, you need to cut around these. I see cut around them. But the back is sticky. A seashell frame notepad, which is this with the little seashell seashells around it and it's all the same design on that so that's really cute sea breeze blue florals paper book 100 pages uh, oh I think that's yeah that's this sea breeze agreement book uh, books of plants original 100 pieces of antique material paper oh okay so this is different kinds of um, papers that you can use for, um, you know, making a journal out of this and decorate your pages with the supplies that are in, in this, um, this box. So really cool. Oh, and it shows you a picture of all the papers that are in there. Very cool. I like that. Handmade embossed paper set. Oh, that's these. Oh, I really like that. I hadn't looked that closely at all of this, but uh, that's really cool. So that's got a raised um, image on it and then this one has got these little swirly curly Q like things um, nautical rice paper times two that's I don't know if that's these it's, it, oh wait here we go this is the rice paper I'm making a mess here this is the rice paper hang on let me put this aside for a second very pretty oh that's really nice I like that a lot hope you can see that and then this one is just the uh, stripes the planks with the rope oh how fun very fun so that's rice paper and then last but not least is uh, 40 sheets a vintage ocean paper set. Oh, and there's a template. Oh, I, I missed this. It's, it's a wave stencil. Very fun. And then the 40 sheets of ocean paper. Different. Um, let's see. I think there's two of each design. Very pretty. Yeah, these are really, really nice. I really like these. I'm going to enjoy using these in uh, some of my journals. So very nice. So that was the Cora Crea Crafts uh, Ocean Themed uh, Curiosities Box. Okay, and then I bought two pens. Um, 
I talked to Charles at Atlas Stationers and told him I wanted a flex nib pen. Um, so he recommended the Pilot Falcon. And um, they had this in a red or a black, and I chose the black. I'm not much of a red person, and I got it in the soft medium nib. Uh, where's that? Let me find that notepad again. I got a pile of stuff piled up over here to show you. So I got the soft medium flex nib. I put the Chukuro ink in here. So it's nice and black and we'll just write. So um, if you don't know about flex nibs, um, you push a little harder on the down stroke uh, and then lift up on the up stroke and you'll get some variation in your line width. So I'm gonna go up with this and then I'm gonna push down. It's not real noticeable in the medium nib. I've heard in some of the other nib sizes, you'll, you'll be able to notice the um, the line variation, but I still like this pen. Uh, and again, the ink is just so dark. It's uh, really interesting how dark that is. And I like Pilot Pen, so I really like this pen, and I've used it just for writing in my journal, and um, it was really nice. So I got that. And then the other pen that I bought was this Edison Collier in a medium. And I told myself I wasn't buying any more blue, green, teal combination pens. But once I saw this and saw this design on here and how it looks like water, I decided I just had to have this pen. And again, it's a medium nib. And I put the um, the, the Nautilus or Narwhal uh, Atlantic Blue ink in it. Very pretty. And so that was all of my purchases. But I will tell you, um, I had the best time walking around, talking to all the vendors, um, talking to the Atlas staff. They were so friendly and helpful. You know, I didn't know what I was going to buy when I got there and wasn't really sure what all I wanted to get. I knew I wanted to get at least one new pen. Um, they took their time. They showed me a lot of different options. I was thinking about getting the new Leonardo manipulation pen. It's a little pricey, but I love the colors on it. And they had one um, setting out on display, so they showed that to me. Um, and then they got out the one that I would buy, and I actually ended up deciding not to buy it because um, it was a. It had the color variation. It had a little bit of orange in it, and orange is not my favorite color. Uh, and I decided I didn't love it. So uh, that was really helpful to be able to see that in person and check it out, the one that I would have bought. So um, I really appreciate the time that they took to um, assist me with that. I met Brendan, um, gave him a NASA sticker um, because I used to work for NASA and uh, he's collecting stickers. So I thought that would be fun to give him a NASA sticker. Uh, I saw Mama T and I saw Brian there. They were very, very busy, so I didn't want to bother them, so I didn't talk to them. Um, did uh, engage with one other. Uh, Clarence was one of the uh, workers who helped me, was very helpful. And then there was one other gentleman who helped me um, when I was picking out a pen to buy, and I didn't get his name. Um, I'm sorry about that, but uh, I just want to say that the Atlas staff is just great. Uh, they've always been uh, super helpful, very patient, courteous, knowledgeable. Um, you just couldn't ask for more from a company. So if you ever get a chance, I would suggest, highly recommend that you go there or shop on, at atlasstationers.com online. And in that vein, I just want to tell you that uh, I have recently become an affiliate with Atlas Stationers. And uh, you can use my code Debbie10 for 10% off most purchases with Atlas Stationers. It do, I know it doesn't work on Twisby or Sailor, maybe a couple other lines, but um, I actually used it the other day to buy a Hobonichi. So you can use it on Hobonichi products. I've used it on um, Narwhal products, things like that. So if um, you'd like to get a little bit of a discount and order from them, feel free to use my code Debbie10. And I do get a very small commission from that that goes towards store credit for me when I, uh, for future purchases. So anyways, uh, that's about it. Uh, it's great to be back recording videos on my channel. Um, 
I'm getting ready to do uh, a journal flip through, so I hope that you'll go out and look for that if you're interested. And other than that, I hope everyone's well. Uh, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons. As you may know, I'm trying to get up to 500 subscribers this year. Um, slowly work on my way there, and I will have a giveaway when I get to that point. So please stay tuned, um, subscribe, like, uh, all those good things. And please leave me any comments that you have. I love engaging with y'all, um, you know, responding to your questions or comments or something like that. So I'd love to hear from y'all if you've had any um, experience with Atlas or any of these products or anything like that, or if you have any questions about them, I'd love to answer. So anyways, that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you have a great day and a great weekend.